at the top of this page, subtraction of functions. Now, just like before, I've given you an f of x and a g of x, okay? Um, which one do you think is f of x? Which graph? Uh, the How would you describe it? Minus one, the n x intercept would be minus one. The x intercept, the y intercept, the y -intercept for f should be minus one. That looks like this one, yeah? yeah? And then, and it's steep, so that's like, oh, gradient two, right? So, cool, right? So if we, we can actually go ahead and label that. Let's call this one y equals f of x. But then you might notice, you're like, hold on a second. That other one is not g of x, is it? Because no. right? x plus 2, we have language to describe this, right? It's an increasing function because gradient is, is positive, positive 1, right? And that's not increasing, that's decreasing, right? Now, the reason why I've given you this graph instead of g of x is because what we're going to graph is not f of x plus g of x. This is subtraction of functions. We are going to graph f of x minus, minus g of x. Okay, now there's a couple of ways to do this, but the way I'm going to encourage you particularly to start off with is, you know how we've said this many times, Mrs. Lees and I, right? Many problems in maths, what they boil down to is, hey, this is really hard. Can we turn this hard problem into some other easier version that we already know how to solve? Can we do that, right? So I'm going to turn this subtraction problem into an addition problem. Watch. I can think of this, I'm just going to encourage you to do this working alongside on the right hand side. I'm going to just write this out, I'm just going to substitute, that's what f of x is. Take away g of x. Now this is what we call a, a difference of functions, right? Something take away something else. But you can write a difference as a sum, as an addition. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave that first thing as 2x minus 1. But instead of saying minus x plus 2, I'm going to say it's the same thing as minus x minus 2. Do you agree with that? Like a 10 take away 3 is the same. Th I'm going to write it down. 10 take away 3 is the same as 10 plus negative 3. Do you agree with that? Right? Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. Okay? Now the reason why I like this way of writing it is because it's addition of functions. We already know how to do this. Does that make sense? So now you can see over here, the graph I've actually given you, this, this sloping one, right? This is actually minus x minus 2. So this graph here is not g of x. It's actually minus g of x. Do you agree with that? So the real g of x is actually that one, but upside down. That's, yeah, exactly what I've done. Okay, are you with me? I've, I've, I've taken the opposite sign. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I don't like that it's subtraction, right? Because you can actually do it this way, you can do it visually, but I'm like, I already am good at addition. Can I just turn this into an addition problem? And so to turn a subtraction into an addition, what you're doing is you're adding the opposite of what you were subtracting. Okay. All right, so I'm going to, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's have a look at this and let's apply the same knowledge we had before. I'm going to do this a little bit faster though because I think you got the hang of it from last time, right? What, what two points are going to be interesting to me here that I might start with? Two, minus two. I'm going to start with minus two. Why minus two? Why is that useful? What kind of point is it? It's an x intercept. Thank you. And then the minus four and two. The y value here is zero. The y value down here is, have a look, have a look. What's it look like to you? Five. Looks like minus five, right? all the way down here. So 0 plus negative 5, what's it equal to? Negative Just negative 5. Bam, so I'm going to go through there. Okay, Pick another point for me. Um, minus 4 and 2. Uh, minus what, sorry? Minus 4. Where are you looking? What x value? Give me an x value. X equals... There's a really easy one. Have a look. Have a look. How about half, right? I know uh, it's, it's a bit of a small axis here, right? But the other x-intercept, you started with one x-intercept, let's do the other one, right? The other x-intercept is a half, right? Am I going to go above or below this time? Yeah. Below, so I go down all the way to this guy. What does that look like, by the way? That looks like y equals negative two and a half, I think. Negative two and a half. So zero, zero plus negative two and a half is... Negative two and a half, right? So I'm down, I'm down here. Okay. Um, I've got a straight line plus another straight line. 
What happens when you add two straight lines together? You get another straight line. So I'm just going to go all the way through this. I think I'm going to get something like this. Whoops. That's a bit wonky. I'm going to try again, sorry. That's more like it. Yeah, well, that's why, I mean, there's this other technology that's really good at that. It's called pencil. Uh, okay, so do you agree? I've gone through both points, okay? And now what I'm going to do, just like I did before, is I'm going to check algebraically if this matches with what I should be expecting, right? So let's do the algebra now, right? Yeah. The answer at the moment that we're focusing on is the graph. I'm using the algebra to check my graph. Right? Because later on, I'm going to show you graphs like this. And you're going to be like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, there's no quadratic formula for this. There's no nice thing. But you can graph this if you're used to thinking like this. Okay? We'll, we'll get to it, just not this particular period. Okay? So, uh, let's do the algebra now just to confirm. Right? What I'm getting is, what is 2x plus negative x? Uh, How many x's x. will I be left with? Minus x. Just a single x? Then I've got minus 1 minus and a minus 2. Let's check. Does this look like my graph? Yes. Yeah. Gradient is uh, one. Yeah. Gradient is one, like so. And y-intercept is minus three. You can see it right there. You okay with that? Does it make sense? 